We just had Ashes of Creation's second weekend of Alpha 2 testing, and well, I want to talk about if it's still fun after playing over 60 or so hours in these last two weeks. Messing around, grinding, doing PvP, doing crafting, and all that stuff. So let's dive right into it. Giving you a quick recap of this weekend on Friday, I did crafting, I did some more crafting, and man, crafting is an absolute effing grind. I think I spent four or five hours crafting just to make like your basic gear set because I had to hunt for grems, I had to kill grems to get the poop or the droppings, I had to grab daffodils, and I had to also make sure these were all the right rarity because trying not to make grays so and you need the green rarity of each type to make a green item more better and then a blue rarity for the blue items and all that. So that is what I did on Friday. And honestly, I don't mind the crafting system. I had a lot of fun with it. Like again, it's definitely a grind and it's definitely something that you want to be dependent on other people for and not do it all yourself, which that will hopefully when the markets open up and that sort of thing, it will help out a bit there too. But I'm enjoying it so far. It's very bare bones, it's very basic, but I can see the potential in it. And I think crafting is going to be a very fun experience for people who enjoy doing that sort of thing. On Saturday, we did a bit of grinding. We went to the Highwayman Hills. We killed some things, we killed some more things. I learned that I could blink across rocks into a building, steal the loot off dead people's bodies and blink out. And that was kind of a fun time. Got a lot of glint from that. And then we tried to run a caravan and we took this caravan from the Jova node to the tropics and then the server worker went down in the tropics and we lost our caravan so then we decided we were going to launch a new caravan from the tropics and we took that caravan on its very long path from the tropics all the way to the new Ayla node it took like two hours total including the first caravan crash and it bugged out and we got absolutely nothing for it so that was quite the adventure caravans move very 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 slowly it seems the road buffs don't work and they really want you to upgrade your caravan because your base caravan has no mana it means that means there is no speed buff that you can add to it it has the slowest mounts or beasts of burden on it very minimal storage so if you're running caravans upgrade those things it's just wood all you need is wood to upgrade the caravan so it's gonna be something we focus on next week i think getting a better caravan run and hopefully not having it bugged out or maybe multiple caravans and then on the third night we went to oaken bank keep because you could finally get into that side of the map because the servers weren't absolutely dog crap all weekend like they were for the most part of the weekend on the eastern side of the world but we did that and we grinded and grinded and grinded and got some gear from that and that was about it server stability has seen much improvement but it still has a ways to go like i just said the eastern side of the map was pretty unplayable on friday and it got gradually better there's a lot still a lot of crashes on that side of the world and there was some good amount of rubber banding but friday to sunday they seemed to do a lot of work on those areas and i imagine they're going to continue to do a lot more work on them throughout the next week on the ptr so hopefully on november 8th when the masses come in and we open up the floodgates to even more players things are stable and they can handle those players and hopefully intrepid opens up a few new servers too because i think that would really help now going through leveling i hit level 14 i believe because sunday I had to work so i didn't play as much on sunday and unlocked that top tier skills because you unlock that top tier skills at level 12 then you can spec into the fun stuff for the mage prismatic beam which can just like shoot out this flamethrower or whichever element you're using at the time uh the blizzard aoe and i'm still enjoying the mage like messing around with the specs i think i have a much better idea now of the type of mage i want to be because doing the frost lightning stuff with the shocked stacks and all that is it's pretty insane and it does a ton of damage especially once you get geared up a bit and honestly i think i'm going to stick with the mage until i hit 25 and then maybe i'll try out another archetype down the road but i am really digging the mage right now but the big question is and Am I still having fun? After all of this grinding and doing the repetitive content, does this game still feel refreshing to me? Do I feel like it's going to have the potential to be that next big MMO? And the answer for me is yes. I think I would have a completely different experience with this if I was playing solo 100% of the time, but I've been mixing it up and I've been grinding with groups, I've been running around solo crafting, I did a little bit of solo grind, and I'm having an absolute blast no matter what I am doing, no matter who I'm with, and it's just been a fun time. We've met a lot of cool people, we've done some groups, and people just show up when we're streaming, and they're like, hey, can I jump in? We bring people into our groups and grind that way, and honestly, it, you can feel like that social component, like it's working as Intrepid, I think, has it intended in some 
some form, especially for an alpha. And that socialness that has gone away with MMO seems to be coming back in Ashes of Creation, even in this alpha state. It's a blast, and I'm really loving seeing all of the people running around and interacting with people and just having a good time. The grind to me, like I think combat is fun enough where the grind isn't completely disengaging for me. I'm not just losing interest and moving on. And again, I think a big part of that is playing with friends at times. If I was grinding solo from 1 to 25, I think I would absolutely have quit by now. But you cannot do that in this kind of game. It is not meant for that, especially in this state, when the majority of content in the game right now is group content, and that whole golden path or solo experience, whatever you want to call it, is not really implemented yet, and it's not going to be for a while. So if you're new and jumping in on the 8th, group up with people. It's the way to do it and you're gonna have so much more fun it's gonna be a better experience for you and there are people in the world that will group up with you if you are killing goblins in the spot and see other people killing goblins invite them to a party if you want to go to a specific location drop in the world chat and say hey looking for a group for this i'm this level people are going to invite you because they need more people and if you want to be really in high demand pick a bard or a cleric or a tank because everybody needs one of those nothing has changed on my opinion since the first weekend it's still got a long ways to go but i'm still having a blast with it and i think it's going to shape out to be a really great game if intrepid keeps putting this amount of effort and this amount of care into it i mean you look at the world like that world is not put together in one night they have put a lot of love and care and effort into designing just this massive section of the riverlands that is very far from complete it feels great we had the winter season on for the majority of these testing in winter like i love the feeling of winter and running around at night with the snow it just like it felt unique it felt special in a way compared to just running around in summer and something about that winter feel just like I, I like it I really do I do I enjoy it and the seasons are also going to be a big fun part of this but it's going to be a good time if you're jumping in on the 8th well enjoy hopefully we'll see you myself Vladis and Rorier we are on the server Vira if you want to play with us and we've been pulling people in from our chats and from our streams to jump in and play so if you're in need of a group and you see us short one live streaming it let us know let us know you have this level cleric and maybe we'll have room for you in the party otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come